Alright. Let me get this tuned in here. Just about got it. Hi artists, hi astronauts. Today we're going to paint the one that we started with. Do you remember why the Egyptians revered this scarab beetle? I don't either. I wasn't Egyptian. But this is what we're going to paint. Something like this. You go find a picture on the internet that looks like this. This is the beetle that is rolling his dung ball. That is what we're going to paint. I'm glad you joined me. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Ignition sequence starts. Five, four, we have ignition. All engines are running. We have liftoff. We have liftoff at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The tower has... My God, our building's shaking here. Our building shaking. Oh, it's terrific! The building's shaking! This big glass window is shaking that we're holding it with our hands. Look at that rocket go into the clouds at 3,000 feet! from the last Soyuz that came up. Look what we got there. Happy trees. So these are some fine brushes. I got a small one. Of angulars, palette knives, fan brush, flat brushes, shaders. So what we want to do is we want to start with this. I'm going to go ahead and lay the whole picture out in a line <clears throat> like I'm drawing. Just like I'm drawing a picture on paper. I don't have to worry about any lines being wrong when I'm doing this. They can all be painted over. They all will be painted over, in fact.
got going on here? I want to welcome you to the broadcast. I'll be painting from space. So what you want to do is paint along. Go out to the art store, go to Michael's Hobby Lobby, Joanne, and get yourself a cheap set of paints like this. You don't need to worry about a palette, just use some cardboard or a plate. And get a set of brushes, a set of brushes like this one and just get a set of acrylic paint like this. Acrylic is really easy to clean up. Cleans up with water. And uh, the idea is that you paint along and submit your paintings. I want you to submit your paintings to spaceartshow at gmail.com. It's spaceartshow at gmail.com. I wanted to introduce Mintaka. This is Mintaka. He's a space dog. When you own your own Skylab, they let you bring your dog up. Okay, now I have this laid out pretty well, exactly like I want it. When, one thing that I want to focus on here is the depth. What I've done is I've created a depth of field situation where I have an, an interesting point here, way back in the distance. We got an interesting point, something that we're going to walk towards if we were human. And then we're out in the desert. And it's this big, vast, flat, sandy area. And so what we have is, we're going to have, if we were to draw horizontal lines, they'd be closer together back here. And you can't see as much detail because it's further away. But as we get closer here, and even as we get to this point right here, this thing... It's probably about the size of a marble that we play with. It's it's very tiny. This is a little bug pushing around a little ball of poop. And these grains of sand that are going to be down here in this area are grains of sand that you can you can see that you can make the form out of that you can see the shape of. And so he's not even really pushing it on flat land as far as he's concerned because he's so small as a bug and what we want to do is we want to make we want to make this beetle really colorful iridescent some of these beetles have greens and purples and oranges right next to each other and this weird iridescent 
as they move around the, they look like shiny chrome this is what we want to do on these beetles and I want you guys to, to paint these take pictures of them send them in and we're gonna share them everybody paint this exact kind of a theme and I'm not gonna tell you how to lay it out but for me it's a it's a painting about depth where I've got a point in the background the horizon line I chose a horizon line that's close to the top of the frame which gives us more foreground to work with and that's what like Salvador Dali would do on his desert desolate paintings the idea is that you paint along and submit your paintings I want you to submit your paintings to spaceartshow at gmail.com it's spaceartshow at gmail.com So what you can do is you can get a pack of pack of brushes and you can go go to the art store and get canvases like this. I just bought a three pack that had two that are that are thin like this and then one that's that's double thick, like like a, an inch and a half thick and they're all the same shape and size. So I got a three pack, just got that on sale. Look for the sales. If you have Hobby Lobbies and Michaels and Joanne in your area, what you do is you watch and wait for the sales. You ask the clerk, hey, do you know when the next when the next sale is going to be? They're going to tell you sign up for emails. But that's what you do is you wait for their canvas sales. That's going to be the most expensive part if you're painting on canvas. And if you're not going to paint on canvas, then paint on wood. Paint on an old saw, an old saw blade, paint on anything you want. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill out the uh, the colors. Just um, at this point, I'm I'm making it so that everything is filled in. None of the white canvas is going to be showing anymore at the end of this next stage. So I'm going to paint a real thin lemon yellow in this whole bottom section. I'm going to start with painting him a sort of a a a bluish green um, and um, some different shades kind of blue he's gonna be bluish purple and green and stuff for now and then 
um, but all this will be this uh, this lemon yellow I spritzed out some orange here so I can get some of the grains that will be here in the foreground um, some of the grains of sand that'll the texture there in that front foreground and um, the foreground extends about to about you'd have to say five feet behind him you can't make out the grains anymore but that's that's about here I don't know how far that is all the way back to the pyramids maybe a mile and a half two miles you start walking you find out oh that's ten miles away those things are big Hi artists, hi astronauts. I want to thank you for joining me today as we paint the beetle. This, these are going to be colorful paintings. These beetles have purples and oranges and blues and aquamarines and greens. These beetles are chrome and shiny. I want you to paint these things beautiful. The iridescence of these beetles is what we're trying to capture in these paintings. So as these episodes continue, I want you to turn on some good music, some calm music, and just paint. I have a list on my channel of some jazz music that I like to listen to while I paint. Start with that or find whatever it is you like to listen to. Good studying concentration music. And you will be able to paint like no one else. I want you to remember submit your paintings to spaceartshow at gmail.com I want to see what you're doing and they become dots. And so this is one of the ways that artists can create the illusion of depth in a two-dimensional frame is the stuff that's closer is bigger, even when it's small, like a grain of sand. 
and the things that are further away are smaller, even though they're big, like the Great Pyramids of Giza. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people don't know you can just buy a Skylab. They've got 14 of them in a hangar outside of Huntsville. They only cost a little more than an Escalade. started this I told myself I wasn't gonna like tell people exactly which color to use because I always thought that was kind of funny on TV but what you want to do is pick a couple of dark blue colors what I haven't done here so far is talked about color or the color circle or color schemes at all what we're doing here is actually gonna have some blues and purples and then what we've got the existing so far here brown yellow and oranges what that is is a split complementary you've got your kind of your blue and your orange just and then a split complementary is what we're doing off of this I see the Sun is straight overhead it's pretty much two o'clock three o'clock one o'clock noon so what we want to do is define a real sharp shadow and what we want to do is mix up a, a real dark purple with some blues purple 
not so much adding red to it, but if you have some some paints in your set that are real dark blues like that, those are the ones we want to use here. So I've got my blues out here. I'm just using a regular. We're going to put in some sharply defined shadows right underneath this. Now these beetles actually have a wedge shovel shape in the front instead of two claws like I kind of painted before. They don't have the pinchers, they have a they have a plow. submit your paintings. I want you to submit your paintings to spaceartshow at gmail.com. It's spaceartshow at gmail.com. I wanted to introduce Mintaka. This is Mintaka. He's a space dog. When you own your own Skylab, they let you bring your dog up. And so hopefully you've got the, the ball shaded in a way that the looks like the sun is above it. We've got all these grains of sand in the foreground here. And we've drawn in our shadow underneath the bug and the ball. And so what we want to do now is go ahead and let's finish the yellow here in the foreground. And what we want to do is fill it in so that we're, we're still leaving little specks of white in some of these grains of sand. And so we're just going to go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled in the yellow and the rest of the foreground. I went ahead and filled in the, the ball. And I've left a lot of texture to that paint that I used to fill that in. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to mix this up so I've got sort of a light blue, a red, and a white. Kind of like equal parts, like red, white, and blue. 
and I'm mixing this up with a lot of water so that it's like a glaze I'm making a real light purple we're gonna go ahead and fill in this well it's a darker purple than I was looking for but we're gonna fill in this uh, scarab beetle right now I want to welcome you to the broadcast. I'll be painting from space. So what you want to do is paint along. Go out to the art store, go to Michael's Hobby Lobby, Joanne, and get yourself a cheap set of paints like this. Don't need to worry about a palette, just use some cardboard or a plate and get a set of brushes. A set of brushes like this one. And just get a set of acrylic paint like this. Acrylic is really easy to clean up. Cleans up with water. And uh, the idea is that you paint along and submit your paintings. I want you to submit your paintings to spaceartshow at gmail.com. It's spaceartshow at gmail.com. I wanted to introduce Mintaka. This is Mintaka. He's a space dog. When you own your own Skylab, they let you bring your dog up. And so at this point, I want to show it to you a little closer and then we'll do the sky.
Now going with the color scheme, and I haven't quite decided what other uh, colors I want to put into the beetle. The sky is going to have a blue, a bluish tint, but I wanted to be able to have Make sure it looks hot. It's still a hot summer day in the desert in Egypt. So, we don't want to cool the picture off too much. It's going to be hot and hazy. And these pyramids are really far off in the distance. I almost don't even want to show you what I want to do with the sky yet. And we'll just finish these pictures together and then I'll show it to you in the future when I'm done. Go ahead and go buy your supplies. Go get your canvas. Go get a set of brushes like this. Go get a set of paints like this. Acrylic paints are easy to clean up. They just wash off with water. I use a little jar like this. Sometimes I use two jars, one to wash the brush and wash it again. so I'm finishing up the scarab beetle painting here and uh, I have come across a technical issue and I am gonna have to break the fourth wall what happens is this painting's gonna have a green section in it and even the blue that I do up in the sky is sometimes messing with the green screen yeah I'm I'm not actually on a spaceship so I'm gonna put this painting back here behind me motivate myself and motivate you this is a painting I've been ch I started this thing probably five four years ago and just haven't finished it just got back into painting in different times and did different paintings left that one sitting there not doing it I'm gonna do it now
Hi astronauts, I just wanted to check in and remind you that this whole idea is that you paint along. Go out and buy canvases, go out to your art store and get a set of paints, get a set of brushes, I want to see your paintings of your pets, I want to see what you've done with, with your scarab beetle. And when you share these paintings, share them on social media like Twitter or Instagram, tag them with Space Art Show, and then we can get other followers, other people painting, and other people following along. The next thing I want to paint is, uh, is um, a group of buffalo. And that's the next, uh, the next thing I think I'm going to paint. Follow along. That's the whole idea. Tag it with Space Art Show or email it to spaceartshow at gmail.com. I almost forgot to put on the brakes.